Hi folks, so I decided to make this video um, to go a little bit more into depth with what the A value uh, for the slope means for this Newton's second law activity. So this is really going above what um, I'm expecting everybody to be able to present to me, but if this is something that interests you and if you are curious about that 0 0.02 um, a value for the slope, then please listen on to learn a little bit about why we got that. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and assume that you figured out since the graph itself was linear that we were going to be taking that linear equation of A equals capital A times F, right? And that A represent is um, when we scrolled over, we saw that that A, uh, the best fit line was when A was 0 0.02. So my, we know that this little A stands for acceleration. And the F stands for force. So I got a little bit, uh, my first thought was, wait, where's this 0 0.02 coming from? I know that this whole thing is derived from the equation um, force equals mass times acceleration. Let's write it all out. Mass times acceleration. Um, or F equals MA. So um, this 0 0.02 certainly isn't the mass we were using. We were using a mass of mass was equal to 50 kilograms. So where did that 0 0.02 come from? Well, maybe you did figure that out, or maybe having this, um, this hint here that we know that we're working with this equation, maybe that's enough to help you out with that. But, um, you know, I found that, um, well, I needed to do a little bit of rearranging this equation. So we know we're not solving for force. We knew the force um, that was given to us in that net force. We knew the mass. What we were trying to solve for was acceleration. So we needed to rearrange the equation. Um, and I will say that I kind of like to arrange when I have a like a proportional relationship like this. I like to arrange the equation with this triangle. And I don't know if you've ever seen this before in math, um, but you can basically take whatever is on this side of the equation. If you have just an, an, something that is by itself, in this case, it's force. Okay, so you'll put this up on top, and then you put the two things that are multiplied together, mass and acceleration, down below. So if you see that these things are lining up, you would multiply them. If you see that you have something on top of something else, you divide. This is like that division symbol. Um, anyway, it helps to really quickly be able to rearrange this equation in all three of the ways. So if you put your hand over that F, you can see that, you know, you're solving for the unknown, which is what you've put your hand over. So you're covering up the F and you can see, okay, I find it by mass times acceleration. If I cover up mass, I can see, oh, I find that by force divided by acceleration, right? If I'm trying to find this mass, I'll switch away from my pen tool. If I'm trying to find the mass here, I would solve that by rearranging the equation so I have mass equals force divided by acceleration. I'm just taking that acceleration and putting it on the other side. So that's where I cover up the, um, the mass and I can see force divided by acceleration. Now in this case, we're actually trying to find the acceleration. Right, so we're covering up that acceleration. We go, oh, I don't know what this is. So we look over here and we can see, oh, force divided by mass. Okay, so the acceleration one is equal to force divided by mass. And you know what? We were given that um, way back up here. Did we? Did I give it to you? Oh, I think it's over here. Maybe I didn't give it to you. Awesome, cool, I made you work for it. Um, fabulous, so, <laughs> um, all right. 
So another way of saying acceleration equals force divided by mass is that we can do this. We can say acceleration equals one over mass times force. That, this, these two things mean the exact same thing. If I'm dividing a force by the mass, I can just say, okay, so that's going to be equal to one over mass times the force. Um, they mathematically are equivalent. Because of that, if you plug in acceleration equals one over 0 0.02 times force, you might just find that this number that you get right here makes a little bit more sense. And I hope that that rambling video was something that um, helped you to understand a little bit about where this slope of the line actually comes from.